guys and welcome to today's video today I'm going to be going over my Nordstrom haul yes I did shop the anniversary sale but I also picked up some items that were not included in the anniversary sale but they are also on sale as well just not exclusively as an anniversary sale I am going to start off with the beauty items because I didn't get a lot of stuff from the beauty collection I only got two things and the rest was all clothing and it's things that I clothing wise missed out last year and got this year so the first thing I got from the beauty items is the Saint Tropez self tan express and this is a huge bottle that scared the bejeebus out of me that was the delivery man Whew. So it's the St. Tropez Sunless Express, and it's a huge bottle. This is 13.5 ounces, has the pump top. I like that this is the Express, so I'm really digging this. I do have this in the clean version where it's clear. I have it in a mousse and a gel. They're just really hard to use because you don't have a guide, and I like a guide. So picked up this guy, and I'll have everything linked below because I don't have all the pricing worked out because some were part of the sale, some were not, but I'll link everything I have below. Next, I was very excited to see that this was part of the sale. I do not know if it was part of the sale last year because I kind of got turned on to this brand or found the brand after the sale last year. So I don't know, it may have been, if you guys know if it was part of the sale last year, please leave me a message below so that way I know to always expect it. But I picked up another one of my Lancers, the Method. This is the large bottle and I feel like this, I love this product. This is hands down, I think the best face exfoliator ever. It is expensive, but it is amazing. The only thing I don't like about this packaging is like when you first get it, there's a lot of air so it kind of floofs it up. But when you get it and you push everything down, like I do, it's only really filled up to there. So it's like, why do you put it in such a big bulky bottle when it really just needs to be like that big? But packaging does not change the quality of the product and this is amazing. You guys have heard me talk about Lancer stuff and how I was out of it and I was on like a quest to find a face exfoliant that was as good possibly cheaper than this and I I have failed I haven't found one yet um, I have some polishers that I enjoy but it's not like an everyday type exfoliant that you can use like this guy this guy can be used every day and I use him every day next up I'm gonna talk about this little camisole that I have on this one was not part of the anniversary sale but it's just a simple black spaghetti strap tank it's by Gibson and I'm trying to get camisoles that are like in a satin or a suede, like to kind of elevate and add texture to my outfits. But this one I really like, it fits well, it's true to size, and it does not have, a, no it does, it does have adjustable straps. And then I also got this BP cardigan that everybody talks about. It's long, it goes right to the mid thigh, has the pockets, but I'll do that farther away imaging of that and everything that I show you I'll also try on so moving right along um, how do I want to do this ah, let's just go into jeans so I only picked up one pair of jeans from the anniversary sale and I only got them because I was afraid they would sell out and then I wouldn't be able to get them again because Topshop usually goes on sale quite frequently so I didn't really want to buy a pair of jeans that the brand typically goes on sale, but I was scared I was gonna miss out on this dark grayish black. It's a skinny with a very distressed bottom hem here. You can see how that looks like all tattered, and I really like it. Now, Topshop runs, I would say, extremely small. I'm in any other brand, I'm typically between a four and a six, give or take, and this one I had to jump up to a size 30, but they still look teeny tiny they fit snug but I think if I would have went up any more it would not have fit correctly one of the other big huge hot items part of the Nordstrom sale and it is every year are these little silk like camis from BP they have the lace detail it has the adjustable straps these run true to size I would say lengthwise and shoulder wise 
but if you're busty you may want to size up because I got a small it fits but it's a little a little snug but not so snug that you can't wear it it's very fitted so if you don't want a very fitted cami you can go up a size so moving on let's just go ahead and get the jackets out of the way I got two jackets first one I'm going to talk about is this beautiful suede jacket it's from BB Dakota I could have swore that I had put in my cart the gray taupey color and even when I looked at my cart it had that picture but when I clicked on my order it says I ordered the mocha so I kind of feel like they didn't have it so they just put the mocha one there but I was actually pleasantly surprised at how much I like this it has this very nice draping and extremely soft if it's true to size and I thought I was gonna return this because like oh it's a dark brown suede I I really wanted the gray the gray color one but I really really like it so I am keeping her next I got this faux leather motor jacket is by Blank NYC. I got it in a medium. This coat is so cool. It has this really cool zip here. It looks very nice. It's higher in the front, or excuse me, higher in the back, longer in the front. So it gives you that nice, like, it accentuates your back and your bum. It has very nice silver detailing, true to size. I also got this in a medium really really dig this all right let's get into like the the tops so this little top was not part of the anniversary sale but how cute is this little tank red white and blue it's like a red it's not like a bright red but it's very light it's also by BP kind of linen-y feeling really really like this this I got it a small it's true to size then I got the sweatshirt. I actually have it in the um, animal print one as well, but it's in the washing machine. This is by Caslon, and it's the camo. I got this in a small. It's very, very soft. It's very forgiving. It's not super oversized. It's kind of like a fitted sweatshirt, but it's very light. So you can definitely wear it in the fall. I actually wore this with a pair of black denim, actually the Topshot denim, and the black Sorel boots that I got. So I kind of had a tough look going on with the military looking boot combat with this in the black denim. Then for a softer look, um, I got this top that I think is absolutely beautiful. It's a very nice material. It feels very dressy. It has this faux like makes it look like it's a button up here, but it's not. This is like animal print done elegantly. Very sheer material, but not see through. And this is by All In Favors. I got it in a small. And when I first put it on, I do have broader shoulders. I kind of felt tight in my shoulders, but I think if I were to size up to medium, it would look way too slouchy. This is super cute, just a like half tuck in the front with some high waisted like skinny jeans. This is absolutely beautiful. This is, I think, is probably one of my favorite tops that I did get. And they have it in a bunch of different colors. They have it in this pumpkin orangey color I really really want so kind of teeter-tottering on this or getting another one of these not this shirt but getting the pumpkin color all right so let's move on to sweaters I love sweaters sweaters and cardigans are pretty much my jam so I picked up this one I actually have this I have two sweaters the exact same sweaters in two different colors because I love them so much I have this one, it's by Chelsea 28. I got it in a small. It has this thick like cow neck here, big flowy sleeves. She is so pretty. I think she'll be a nice pop of color for in the winter. She runs, she's a little oversized, but I would still get your true size because it's supposed to be a slouchier look. So I did get this in the beautiful red. I also got it this is one of the colors not the sweater that I missed out last year on but one of the colors is that mushroomy brown I think last year's was by Traverse I think it was but this again is by Chelsea 28 with this slouchy collar here that I absolutely love I cannot wait to wear this next ugh, this is by something navy I really liked this animal print sweater she runs true to size 
little bit oversized, not super fitted, but definitely true to size. She is so soft. It's a thick, dense, like buttery soft material. And I think this is super cute. Wear it with those black top shop and then some black boots. I have two. Okay, and the other two sweaters that I got that are the same exact sweater, just different colors, is also by the Chelsea 28. I got in this really pretty rust color. This is another sweater supposed to be oversized and I got my size small. It has this very thick cuff here at the bottom of the sweater and a big floppy like turtleneck here or cow neck and I love this and I also got it in the beautiful like creamy beige color. Again, very thick sleeves, slouchy neck, slightly oversized, very cozy. So I cannot wait to wear these two. Almost done with the clothing. So first up, we have this cardigan by BP. This cardigan was a big hit last year and it sold out very quickly again this year. It is true to size. I wouldn't really say it's oversized because I think all cardigans are kind of meant to be a little oversized. So if you want it to fit more fitted, I would size down. Otherwise, if you want to fit like a traditional cardigan, get your true size. Now this one, I was on the fence about getting because yeah, it looks pretty, but I just wasn't sure. Even when I got it, I wasn't sure. I thought for sure I was gonna take it back because it just didn't, I don't know, I felt like it was missing something. So what I did, I tucked the, the tag in and then I wore it, I wore it to work just to see like how it felt when I wore it throughout the day, if anyone liked it or anything like, does anybody say anything like they like it? It could be a compliment. And how did I feel in it? And after I wore it, I decided I really like it. It's a fun piece to be able to dress up, wear all black and pop this on with your like, this would be like your pop of color, but yet it's still neutral and kind of spice up the outfit. And I like that it covers your bum. So I ended up keeping it. Next we have the leaf cardigan and I got it in the gray. This has no pockets. This is a very thin cardigan, but I think it will still keep you very warm. It's extremely long and it has the slits on the side. They have it in a burgundy fudge color that I really want, but I don't know if I need to get another long cardigan. Um, these cardigans do go on sale later on during the year. So I don't feel like, so I don't feel like if you haven't gotten these items, some of them like you'll still be able to get them even if it goes, it's gonna go up to like the regular price again, but they always go on sale again. Um, I don't know about the cheetah print cardigan cause that one I couldn't get my hands on last year, but I know cardigans, it may not be this exact cardigan, but they continuously come out with more cardigans and then they go on sale. So don't feel like you have to go out and get everything they'll come back, it'll be on sale. It may not be the exact style, but it'll be similar. So don't stress yourself out. Next, I got this burgundy fudgy color, and this is another reason why I don't know if I wanna get the other one. But this one is by, again, Chelsea 28, and it has the buttons that go up, so it kinda buttons here, and it gives you more of like a college type feel if you wanna say that. But this one I really, really like. True to size um, for like an oversized fitting sweater. If you want it tighter, by all means, go down. I got two blazer-esque type tops. So this one is by Castellan. It's a black little blazer that you can cuff the sleeves or roll them down. This was not part of the anniversary sale, but it was on sale. And I love blazers. I have developed a love for them. I used to like, yeah, they're okay, they're dressy, but I like wearing them more with denim than I do by like dressing them up. And then this one is also by the same brand and it's more of a knit type blazer. So this is good, you can wear in the summer, wear it to the office and it's longer and it covers your bum and it has pockets where the other one did not, I don't believe. Oh, it does, I lied. But this one's a longer fit. I got three pairs of shoes. Their boots, two of which are the same pair. I will explain. So I live in Missouri. The winters can be interesting. Sometimes we get a lot of snow. Sometimes we don't get a lot of snow. Like you never know what you're gonna get. So wearing 
boots and stuff, you don't, I really don't know what I'm going to need. Um, sometimes I can get away with wearing nice like suede boots and don't have to worry about weather. But then sometimes I need something that's waterproof or can really, you know, stand up against the inclement weather. So I originally saw these in the Nordstrom catalog in the brown color and I thought they were beautiful. They're already like weather protected and they have a really thick rubber sole. So I can wear these throughout the winter. I can dress them up, I can dress them down. I'm not gonna go ice skating and sliding everywhere. And it's a good look. This is actually the boot that I wore with the camo top with the black denim. So these I absolutely love. I would say they run true to size. I don't think they fit snug, but I absolutely love these. Like I said, I originally got them in the brown and then decided, nope, I need them in the black too, but I've worn the black ones. So that's why I showed you guys these first. Yeah, the brown ones. They're so pretty. Here they are. They're this nice, like, light camely brown. Again, you know, weatherproofed. Like, I can tromp around in the snow and water. I don't have to worry about sliding, slipping. Like, they are amazing. Like, again, true to size. Do not need to size up. I would say the only reason why you would need to size up is if you have a wider foot. Um, I kind of have a narrow foot, and they fit me perfectly. But how pretty are those? They're just very pretty. Like I said, you can dress them up dress them down. They can be whatever you need them to be. And the last item that I got on my little Nordstrom haul with the anniversary sale and just a Nordstrom sale in general are these Jeffrey Campbell boots. They're like a sock booty. I like that they have a blockier heel and I like that it has the pointed toe so it really can dress up any look. I do have a pair of boots similar to this that's not a sock booty, but it it kind of looks like a sock booty. It's just not as tight at the top. And it has a rounder toe, like an almond-shaped toe. And I feel like they don't look as dressy. Anytime you get like a pointed heel, or not pointy heel, pointed toe, it automatically is going to elevate the look and make it look dressier, in my opinion. I think the pointed toe elevates any look. And I think a sock booty like this, like simple, you don't have to, like they have a really pretty like pinky beige color, which is beautiful, but I personally wouldn't wear that. I, with my shoes, I'm kind of conservative. I like to stick with my browns, my blacks, neutrals. I don't do a lot of prints. So I think the black is the way to go. They did have these in a really cool snake print. So I was like, oh, those look really cool. And when I put these on, when I got them, they fit amazing, but I just know I won't wear them. So I think the black is the way to go. And I think this type of boot is essential for anybody's wardrobe because you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with slacks, skirts, dresses. It's a really great all around boot and it'll help you elevate every single look. All right guys, so here is this camisole or the Gibson camisole with the cardigan. So it's just very relaxed fitting. I like to do this little half tuck here to kind of elevate it up a little bit. But it just takes a very simple, easy breezy type of look. Your bum is covered so it'll keep you warm. This is really good for the office. And check out these boots. These are the, those little boots I was telling you about. I just love them. It just elevates every look. You can have this casual top and then rock out these boots and it just fits and goes together amazingly. I also forgot, I did pick up these jeans as well. They're not part of the sale, but they're by Good American and they're just a simple skinny jean and I love the way they fit. They do run, I would say, on the larger end. Um, so I size down. So here is that knit Kalslan cardigan that I was showing you, or blazer, whatever you wanna call it. Since it's kind of like a knit i kind of want to call it a cardigan again the same gibson top half tuck in it just a very easy simple look and i feel like when you get the camisoles of a different material that's not cotton and you're mixing those fabrics it really can elevate your look so this is that one here's that other black blazer that i really really like it 
can be rolled up or rolled down. I personally right now like to roll them up because we're still in summer. So it kind of gives it like a more, you know, summer-esque look, but still super classic. Next we have the Leith cardigan. This one is longer. It comes below my knees. I am kind of on the taller side. I am 5'7". Again, with this black Gibson, you know, spaghetti strap camisole, it's amazing. And it's just, for some reason, I feel like cardigans really just like make you look like you tried to dress up, but yet you're not dressed up. You're super comfy. And I don't know, I just really love cardigans. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that in this video that I love cardigans. Here is the infamous animal print cardigan that everyone goes crazy about. Super cute. But I think what I wasn't sure about is how it doesn't come as far around like the other cardigans. Like you kind of have to like stretch it to get it to come farther around. But I've noticed like while I wore it, it did stretch out a little bit and it didn't feel as stiff. So I decided I'm going to keep it. One downside I will say is that there are little fluffies that fly. So if you're gonna wear this, I would suggest not wearing a sticky chapstick or lip gloss or lippy because the fluffies will get stuck to your lip. Had that happen, not a fun thing. Okay, now here is the BP cardigan. Like I said, it fits true to size. So if you're a little bit busty, you could potentially go up a size. So it fits better through here. Like I said, the small fits. It's not bad. It does have adjustable straps. It does be down in the back. And then here is that burgundy fudge cardigan I got that has the buttons, which I think to button it up would be kind of cute to have your buttons. I just, it's a different take on our typical cardigan that we're seeing these days. It's more of like a collegiate sweater and it's super cute whether you button it up or leave it unbuttoned. All right guys, now here is the suede jacket. Like I said, I thought I ordered the gray, but I got the mocha one instead that I was sent. And it has this really cool like ribbing detail here and then your suede on this side. And it's very stretchy, so it's very forgiving. I think if I would have went to a large, it would have been too slouchy. So it's very fitted in the arms, but I can still bend. So that's good. But it just like, it just flows and flatters you it, just the way it drapes. I think this is an amazing jacket. I see this jacket a lot during the year and I have seen some similar jackets like this on Nordstrom Rack that I think are even cheaper than the current jackets they have in the anniversary sale. So those may have been like last year's version of them. So you do have some options there. And I also think right now, um, as I'm filming this, they're having the clearing the rack sale which I will be also doing a video on that sale as well. I picked up some essentials that I wanted that weren't available during the anniversary sale. So yeah, here's the jacket and let's try on the moto jacket because that one I'm really, really impressed with. All right, so here is the moto jacket. I love it with this white camisole underneath. It kind of gives it a pop of color. Again, it has the ribbing on this side. This one fits a little looser than that one. It, the other one, the suede is more fitted. This is still fitted, but it's not as tight. It is also just as stretchy. But I really, really like this jacket, especially with the high, high, high this way, low this way look. I'll show it to you zipped up, which I don't know if I'd wear it zipped up. Okay. It's kind of hard to zip because this little flap. There we go. So you can zip it up as well and kind of make it like, I honestly don't think I'd ever wear it zipped up. So yeah, take that away. I like it down, slouchy, like this. So here is the Moto jacket. All right, so here is that Chelsea 28 sweater. I like my sweaters sometimes to be extremely like long and slouchy because I just, 
don't know, they seem more cozy that way. But yet this one is still like, I can still tuck it and kind of take some of the bulk away from here, which will be really cute. And I like the big swoopy cowl neck here because it looks like a sweater, or like a turtleneck as well, but it's loose. So it's not gonna feel like it's suffocating you. And this color, this rust color, I mean, it's, it's pretty. And I like this thick cuff here. I think it gives it a little something extra to have that thick cuff and the different, it's the same color, but it gives you like different textures because this has the cabling going this way and then this is just a normal sweater. Yeah, really like this. I'll go ahead and show you the cream. Again, here is the cream and it is true size. If you, you could size down, I'd say, if you wanted it a more fitted look, but I like the slouchiness because I think this is a great, like, yes, it can be wear during the winter, but I think this is a good fall sweater because you can still warm up your hands, it's long enough, and yeah, you can do the tuck again to kind of cinch it in a little bit, give it more, you know, dimension or more of a fit. So yes, there is the cream, and I think everyone needs like a good creamy off-white winter white sweater for the winter. I know there's that big rule about you can't wear white after what, Labor Day or something like that, and I have been a stickler of that of not wearing white, but I think I'm going to get rid of that rule because I love white sweaters, white denim. So why can't I wear them all year round? So this is kind of my sweater to help me get to that point where I can just say F the rules. And when I get closer, I'm trying to get closer to you, but the light like blows it out, makes it really bright. So yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, so here is that something navy sweater. This one has a little bit more of a fitted fit, but you could size down, although I do think it's true to size. And I switched into those Topshop jeans. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bottom because the bottom is actually the show. So you can see that they're really super distressed. And I absolutely love that look. That huge distressing. Here is this. I like that, I think it's super cute, just the light light in the cheetah print with the black super easy outfit but it looks like you tried I could pop on any one of the black boots that I got or even like a mule like a heel mule and really elevate that look as well yeah but the something navy I am really loving her stuff I just found out that she's a blogger who knew but I actually really really like her stuff so far that I've gotten I actually have a few more pieces that are coming from her as well Okay, here's the sweater. Now this sweater, I'm gonna say is like the one that got away last year. I like to flop it like that. It is oversized, not as oversized at the other as the other ones, but you again can, it's kind of thicker to tuck. So this one is true to size, but like I said, like with all sweaters, I feel like this is a common trend. You can size down and make it fit tighter, but I really like this. And here it is in the red. Like that red just pops, especially with this dark denim. Super cute. And here's that Carlson's camo sweatshirt that I told you about. Not super fitted, but not super baggy. I will say the sleeves, you can't, they don't go any farther than that, at least not on my arms. But I think that's a good length if you want to kind of push them up. And this is the shirt that wore the black denim with those black swirl that kind of gave it like a military-esque type of look. So yeah, and I have this in the animal print one as well. They're super buttery soft. They're a good like layering piece for an investment piece, I believe, if you want a pattern. I do believe they have them in solid colors as well. Last but not least is this cheetah print or leopard or whatever print this is. And this one I did do the little half tuck in the front and kind of billowed it out but I I love the sleeves I like that they're bigger and it gives more like flow to the shirt this one like I said I'm still trying to decide if I want to get it in the pumpkin color as well but it's very very pretty very nicely done I think it's very sophisticated for an animal print 
All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you found that beneficial with trying on the different items and me saying I love cardigans a billion zillion times. Um, but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. It really does help my channel. And I will see you in the next video guys. And don't forget, I will be having another video coming probably next week, maybe in the week, week and a half of what I purchased off the, um, what was it? Clear the rack from Nordstrom rack sale. I did get, I think two new pairs of shoes that are completely different than what I already have. And they're missing from my wardrobe and a couple sweaters too. Yeah. So yeah, that will be exciting. And I will see you in the next video again. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.